Hey guys, Chaps here, and let's talk a bit about Operation 6. I'm not going to drag this out, so let's just hop straight to the point. I'm kind of suspecting that Operation 6 will be the last real operation, or hell, maybe even Operation 5 was the last real operation. In the background here, I have some footage from last night's developer stream. Let's listen in for a second and see what Dana is saying here. Ooh, is Operation 6 looking good? Um... Yes. <laughs> uh, Operation, we're going to talk about this uh, in the coming weeks, uh, but there's some stuff going on with Operations and, 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 and a few things that we're all really, really excited about. Um, uh, so I, I, we can't wait to share that with you. Um, so we're really, really excited. So that kind of got me thinking that perhaps this will be the last operation. And then he continued by saying this, and it kind of furthers my belief. Is it bigger than previous ops or equal to in size to the last? I was going to give a cheeky reference to the download size. Um, that is a question that is hard to answer until you actually see my... Until we're able to answer it, and then you will understand the context of what that's for. Um, so it's a, you'll have to just stay tuned, but I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be excited about what it's all about. So that's kind of, that, that's, that's the most I can give you now without running into uh, <laughs> other issues. Okay, so what's going on here? Honestly, I have no idea, but trying to piece things together, this is what I've come up with. We know that support for the game has been going downhill, and no, I don't mean that in a negative context, I just mean that the game is getting older now, so most of the team has moved on to future projects. I mean, if you look at the cost-benefit analysis, which I guess none of us can really see, but it's hard to imagine that there'd really be too much justification in large support efforts this far in, especially when they could utilize those resources towards something like, I don't know, Gear 6? So we know they've said no more modes, they've said no more major tuning updates, They've said no more major features, and not surprisingly, they've also said no more campaign DLC. Oh, and to top things off, PvE has basically been positioned so that it can run on autopilot now due to their daily and weekly horde and escape things. Now, what does an operation bring with it? Well, usually it's those things that I just mentioned, plus some characters, skins, and maps. So let's sit on how I think this next, and possibly last, operation is going to shake out. I think that we'll be getting a few small game updates to patch some bugs and maybe some minor feature updates, but nothing huge. We'll then be getting a map drop, characters, and skin drops, and basically some preparations for the store. Now none of that seems too surprising I'm guessing, but here's where the shift comes. From that point onward, we won't see any more operations or mid-operation drops, but that doesn't mean the end of the content cycle. I suspect that we'll see them shift to a almost drop one ready approach to content. Rather than waiting three to four months for an operation in order to drop some new characters and new maps all in bulk, maybe we'll do a once a month type thing or something. These drops won't need to contain major feature updates or bug fixes. These drops won't need to have large marketing pushes. These drops won't need large tour of duty refreshes. And basically it cuts the amount of work TC needs to do significantly. A complaint from the community has been that operations feel too long. At this point in the life cycle, it kind of makes sense to make the shift. Maybe it'll support the game through September or October, you know, give it a full two years of skin support, and maybe a few extra maps. I feel the timing is right for this change, and it would clearly align with what Dana said. Here, I'll play it again. Uh, Operation, we're going to talk about this uh, in the coming weeks, uh, but there's some stuff going on with Operations and, 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 and a few things that we're all really, really excited about. Um, uh, so I, I, we can't wait to share that with you, um, so we're really, really excited about that. So yeah, this is clearly something going on with operations, and I'm not sure what's so exciting about it, but then again, it's his job to make everything seem super hyped. Bigger than previous ops are equal to in size to the last. I was going to give a cheeky reference to the download size. Um, that is a question that is hard to answer until you actually see my, until we're able to answer it, and then you will understand the context of what that's for. Um, so it's a, you'll have to just stay tuned, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be excited about what it's all about. And yeah, that further supports this theory. Operation 6 is probably smaller than any other operation, but at the same time it's bigger because at the end it will have more content added than any other operation. 
I don't know. This is all just speculation. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do, do you think this is likely at all? So before we wrap up here, there's two last aspects of this whole operation shift that I haven't touched on yet. First is the tour of duty. I'm kind of drawing a blank here. If this is really the last operation, what do you think is going to happen with the tour of duty? Surely we'll need something that goes on forever for the endgame, right? I see one of three things happening. One, we could get a regular tour of duty, and they make a slight change to the legend rank so that it can keep going up to, like, five digits or whatever. Option two is the same as option one, where we have one last tour and then a modified legend rank. But the caveat is that this last tour is extra long, or has some extra hard metals with it, and that's probably my preference. And then, I guess an option three would just be to can the whole tour concept. Like, let people keep earning stars for coins, but get rid of the ranks and medals. This is a pretty boring option, but I guess it would also save them from having a super buggy operation again. And then this kind of brings us to our last point, which is the store. The reason something is needed in the endgame is so that the people can continue to earn coins to spend in the store. I'm wondering how the store is going to work, though. Surely they'll continue it as normal for a while, new stuff will cost iron, and then transition into coins. But what about the long-term plan? And what about all that old stuff from previous operations? I suspect that the Essentials Collection will see this sizable update to include most of the items from Operation 1 through Operation 3, or maybe even Operation 4. Perhaps they'll set up the Featured section to be an RNG rotating stock each week, and just let that keep looping. I guess nobody really knows what they have planned. And hell, nobody even knows if this is really going to be the last operation. That's just my gut feeling after hearing the developer stream last night. As I said earlier, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will catch you next time.